Why would you draw this? Out of all the weapons that you could have chosen, the Calamity mod is one of my favorite Terraria mods. It's what my last 6 years of playing Terraria were mainly comprised of. I mainly love it for the spectacular sprites of all the modded items and biomes. And today, I will be attempting to illustrate one of them. It's what I consider to be the best biome in modded Terraria, with the most interesting content that you'll ever see. From the breathtaking, to the unusual. You could've picked anything else. I'll be illustrating the Astral Infection from Terraria Calamity mod. It's a hardwood biome in Terraria Calamity mod that spawns on the dungeon side of the Terraria world when you defeat the Wall of Flesh. And immediately, upon first glance, it looks very interesting. And I would like to talk all about it while I made some fan art. I mean, I would also like to illustrate the brimstone crags. The unique ambience feels calming, but that's for later. To start off, let's make a sketch. I want the landscape to be flat and plainy, with some hills in the background and the foreground. Looking at the Terraria reference, the background of the Astral Infection is very bumpy, with a bunch of hills. And as you can see, I also added one of the notable elements of the Astral Infection, the Meteorite Crater, which is filled to the brim with Astral Ore. It's a late game ore that you can only collect after defeating a boss before the Moon Lord. Anyway, with having a decent sketch of the landscape, let's add some monoliths. These things. There will be many of these dotted around the place with different sizes. Speaking of monoliths, I decided to add one on the foreground with a platform on the middle of it. And on the middle of it is... whatever this thing is. It's the Astral Beacon. It's used to summon the boss that I mentioned earlier. With the sketch complete, let's color the landscape in grayscale. Now, why do I think this is the best biome in Terraria Calamity mod? Well, let's start off with the theme. It has an alien theme to it, with that hue of purple and specks of cyan and red mixed in. If it's involving aliens, then it probably involves space as well. From the name of the biome itself, Astral is a word that's synonymous with celestial, interstellar, stellar, starry, and its definition, relating to the stars, proves it further. And in the Calamity mod wiki, the lore statement is, This twisted dreamscape is the starborn equivalent of the mundane rot you see in your lands. Really interesting. This is opinionated but, I love space stuff ever since I was little. Mainly because it's an unknown vast space <laughs> Get it? that we still don't know much about. Many different regions of space, especially planets with different qualities, are bringing drastically different forms of life. Gets creativity and speculation flowing. A lot of it. Anyway, it's sky time. Even though it's broad daylight in my Terraria world, for some reason it goes dark when I enter this biome and I don't know why. Oh yeah. That sickly purple haze is blocking the light from the sun. Okay, that makes sense. What about those stars? Well, maybe they're just shards of astral ore that got launched into the sky. Anyway, with the landscape properly colored, let's add some grass, because I can't touch any. And this is pretty obvious knowledge, but things get less detailed far away. So, detailing the hills. With all of the landscape elements detailed, it's time to detail those monoliths. And the interesting thing about these monoliths are the spots that glow. It seems like these monoliths are holding some energy. Every monolith has one of these glowing crevices. And to emphasize that further, let's add some glow. With that sorted, let's deal with the crater. Now, the astral ore in the crater doesn't glow that much. And I feel like that the amount of energy that this meteorite made to turn the surrounding area into this alien dreamscape, like, come on. We got to give it a lot of energy. And also, I feel like some of the ore got splattered around the place because that's how meteorites work. So I did those as well and added the three main colors that the astral ore had. Okay, now for that depressing voice, let's talk about the biome's content. Even though this biome isn't really important as in terms of progression, I mean, you could literally ignore this and still complete the game, there are still reasons to appreciate it. First of all, weapons. The Astral Team weapons have really amazing sprites with really unique attack animations, and some of them are actually good. Like the Stellar Knife. 
Secondly, the mobs. All of the mobs have really cool designs, and some of them drop useful weapons that improve certain classes. My favorite is the Nova because the Atlas as well. And lastly, the bosses. Mainly because of the sprites and the music, but their drops... They're alright, I guess. Borealis Bomber especially. It's a good complement to my minions and sentries. Now, there's just one element left that needs to be finished. The Astral Beacon. As I said earlier, the Astral Beacon is used to summon one of the Astral Team bosses, Astral Deus. Ooh. Even though this is just a small part of the whole illustration, I spent a lot of time refining and adding details to this artwork. Probably a lot more than you think. And attempting to translate the sprite into the actual illustration would be quite difficult. But surprisingly, I managed it. It looks like it's charging up, and we know what happens after that. Now, there's just a few more elements that we need to add left, and I feel like it should have been the first few things that I should have added. One of those are the trees. Now, normally I wouldn't like to draw these kinds of trees because I prefer drawing realistic ones. But this feels a lot more fitting in this biome. Some flowers. They'll be just some dots because I'm too lazy. And last but definitely not the least, the grass. Colored grass. Looks like that's this illustration complete. To be honest, this could be the background of the astral infection in Tveria, and I wouldn't even bat an eye. The landscape, the color, the ambience, it's so surreal. It perfectly encapsulates that twisted alien landscape that I was going for. And the only reason why this is my favorite biome is because of the landscape. Hopefully my illustration encapsulates it well. Now, you may be thinking that this is the end, but no! I have the something from this biome that is just amazing. A weapon that deserves to be on the spotlight. The Polaris Parrotfish! Well, I was expecting more than silence. Anyway, I will be illustrating a fish. A fish? Yeah. It's a fish that can be fished from the astral infection waters. And when you use it, it shoots two star bolts which reload faster depending on how close you hit the enemy. You can literally fish it from the beginning of hard mode. Now, illustrating this will be easy because it's just a parrot fish but infected. I started off by sketching then outlining the fish. I made sure that the outlines of the fish are similar to the sprite of the parrot fish. And definitely unrelated to this, I found some pretty interesting information involving this fish that I feel like an in-game recording is the only way to make sense of this. Anyway, back to the illustration. I colored it and detailed it to make it look more like a fish. It looks very odd. Okay, the fact that the pupils are not black feels wrong. I mean, let's just not judge that fast because the extra details might improve this. And let's showcase those details through a montage. Alien Fishy. It kind of looks lifeless. Well then maybe I should have illustrated any other weapon then. Nah, this is worth it. <laughs> 